A Daily Walk with Pastor in the Bible Thursday, June 18th, Psalm 86 All the nations you have made shall come and worship before you, O Lord, and shall glorify your name. For you are great and do wondrous things, you alone are God. Teach me your ways, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Unite my heart to fear your name. I give thanks to you, O Lord my God, with my whole heart. I will glorify your name forever. For great is your steadfast love toward me. You have delivered my soul from the depths of Sheol. O God, insolent men have risen up against me. A band of ruthless men seek my life. They do not set you before them. But you, O Lord, are a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. Turn to me and be gracious to me. Give your strength to your servant and save the son of your maidservant. Show me a sign of your favor that those who hate me may see and be put to shame because you, Lord, have helped me and comforted me. The Old Testament reading is from Proverbs, the twentieth chapter. The purpose in a man's heart is like deep water, but a man of understanding will draw it out. Many a man proclaims his steadfast love, but a faithful man who can find. The righteous who walk in his integrity Blessed are his children after him. The king who sits on the throne of judgment winnows all evil with his eyes. Who can say, I have made my heart pure, I am clean from my sin? Unequal weight and unequal measures are both alike an abomination to the Lord. Even a child makes himself known by his acts, by whether his conduct is pure and upright. The hearing ear and the seeing eye, the Lord has made them both. Love, not sleep, lest you come to poverty. Open your eyes, and you will have plenty of bread. Bad, bad, says the buyer, but when he goes away, then he boasts. There is gold and abundance of costly stones, but the lips of knowledge are a precious jewel. Take a man's garment when he has put up security for a stranger, and hold it in pledge when he puts up security for foreigners. Bread gained by deceit is sweet to a man, but afterwards his mouth will be full of gravel. Plans are established by counsel, by wise guidance wage war. Whoever goes about slandering reveals secrets, therefore do not associate with a simple babbler. If one curses his father or his mother, his lamp will be put out in utter darkness. An inheritance gained hastily in the beginning will not be blessed in the end. Do not say, I will repay evil. Wait for the Lord, and he will deliver you. Unequal weights are an abomination to the Lord, and false scales are not good. A man's steps are from the Lord, how then can a man understand his way? It is a snare to say rashly, It is holy, and to reflect only upon making vows. The Holy Gospel according to St. John, the seventeenth chapter. When Jesus had spoken these words, he lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son that the Son may glorify you, since you have given him authority over all flesh to give eternal life to all whom you have given him. And this is eternal life, that they may know you the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. I glorified you on earth, having accomplished the work that you gave me to do. And now, Father, glorify me in your presence with the glory that I had with you before the world existed. I have manifest your name to the people whom you have given me out of the world. Yours they were, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything that you have given me is from you. 
For I have given them the words that you gave me, and they have received them, and have come to know in truth that I came from you, and they have believed that you sent me. I am praying for them, I am not praying for the world, but for those whom you have given me, for they are yours. All mine is yours, and yours are mine, and I am glorified in them. And I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, keep them in your name, which you have given me, that they may be one, even as we are one. While I was with them, I kept them in your name, which you have given me. I have guarded them, and not one of them has been lost, except the son of destruction, that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you, and these things I speak in the world, that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them your word, and the world has hated them, because they are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. Sanctify them in truth, your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I have sent them into the world. And for their sake I consecrate myself, that they also may be sanctified in truth. Jesus said, I do not ask for these only, but also for the ones who will believe in me through their word, that they may all be one, just as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they may also be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. The glory that you have given me I have given to them, that they may be one even as we are one. I am in them and you are in me, that they may become perfectly one, so the world may know that you sent me and loved them even as you loved me. Father, I desire they also, whom you have given me, may be with me where I am, to see my glory that you have given me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. O righteous Father, even though the world does not know you, I know you, and these know that you have sent me. I made known to them your name, and I will continue to make it known, that the love with which you have loved me may be in them and I in them. A Writing of Martin Luther Emperor Justinian himself declared, Imperial majesty not only must be adorned with arms, but also armed with laws. See how marvelously this emperor turned his words about. He calls the laws his armor and weapons, and he calls arms his decorations and adornments. He would make his clerks his knights and fighting men. This is excellently put, for the laws are indeed the true armor and weapons which maintain and protect land and people. Yes, the empire in the world governs itself, as has been sufficiently stated above. Wisdom is indeed better than might, and pious jurors are true knights who defend the emperor and the princes. One could cite many passages to this effect from the poets and the histories, but it would take too long. Solomon himself declares in Ecclesiastes that the poor man, by his wisdom, delivers a city from a mighty king. By this I do not mean to say that we should despise, reject, or do away with soldiers, fighting men, and those whose business is war. They too, when they are obedient, help with their fist to maintain peace and protect things. Every occupation has its own honor before God, as well as its core requirements and duties. Martin Luther
are the great high priest. You have prepared the feast of holy love. And in our mortal pain, none calls on you in vain. Our pleas do not disdain help from above. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, so govern our hearts and minds by your Holy Spirit, that, ever mindful of your glorious return, we may persevere in both faith and holiness of living. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, merciful Father, your thoughts are not our thoughts, your ways are not our ways. In your wisdom, you have permitted this disastrous pandemic to befall us. We implore you, let not the hearts of your people despair, nor our faith fail us, but sustain and comfort us. Direct all efforts to attend the sick, console the bereaved, and protect the helpless. Bring hope and healing, that we may find relief and restoration. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Luther's Morning Prayer I thank thee, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger, and I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings and life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Or Luther's Evening Prayer I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day, and I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong, and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.